trying to let you know. Hi guys, my name is Erica, and today I'm going to be showing you my everyday summer makeup routine. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie up my hair and get it out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to prep my skin with the Power 10 formula Vitamin E Effector. It's somewhat like a serum, and I'm just going to put four dots on my face. This is just going to help moisturize my skin and prep it for makeup. The next product that I'm going to use is this Sun Killer Perfect Water Essence and it's alcohol free. I'm going to use it to protect my skin from the harmful UVA and UVB rays. This product also helps to moisturize my skin because it's also an essence. So now I'm going to put on my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Primer to smooth out my skin and to erase my pores. I'm going to put this where my cheeks are, my nose, my forehead, and even a little on my chin. I'm going to rub it in with my hands just to make sure the product is all over my face. And then I'm going to use the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge to push in the product and make sure it's nicely blended. Now I'm going to go in with the Bourjois 10 Hour Sleep Effect Foundation. This contains vitamin E, F, and B5 to help make it a super nourishing foundation. So I'm wearing the color 71. I'm going to quickly apply this on with my fingers and then later on blend it out with my beauty blender. This foundation really helps to even out my skin tone and gives me a light, natural coverage. So I'm sure you can still see some of my blemishes, like these red pimples and my acne scars. So I'm going to go over them with some green concealer to color correct the redness. The concealer that I'll be using for that will be my Makeup Forever Professional Concealer Palette. And this is the 5 Camouflage Cream Palette. I'm going to go in with my fingers to warm up the product and then place it on the areas where my redness peeks through. Now I'm going to blend it all in with my beauty sponge. So now I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer to lighten up my face and highlight the points of my face where I want lightness too. I'm going to blend it out with my sponge. I totally forgot, but I'm going to apply some lip balm on my lips just to prep it for lipstick when I put it on later. Now I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand to cover up my blemishes specifically. I'm actually going to let the concealer dry down a bit just because I find that it helps to make the concealer stay a lot longer. Now that the concealer's dried down a bit, I'm going to tap it in with my finger first and then blend it out with my beauty blender. So now I'm going to set my face with this powder to make sure my concealer and foundation does not move. The powder I'll be using is the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder. I'm going to use a really big fluffy brush and apply it to the edges of my face first. The next powder that I'll be using is the Bourjois Paris Rice Powder. And this one is sort of illuminating, so I am going to use it in the middle of my face to just brighten everything up. So now I'm going to do my brows off camera and come right back. I'll make sure I have a video about this so you can watch it on a different video. But yeah, just because it's a super long process, I want to save us some time. 
So my brows are on, so we're going to move on to eyeshadow and eye makeup. I'm going to prime my eyes with the NARS Pro Prime Eye Base. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to use the CoverGirl True Naked Goldens Palette. I'm going to go in with this medium brown here with a flat shader brush and put it all over my lids. So I just applied it all over my lids here and I'm not too worried about blending it out because I'll do that later. Doing the same thing on the other side. With the fluffy brush, I'm going to blend out the edges. I'm going to use this brush to put this dark brown close to my lash line. I put some of the same brown on the outer edges of my eye. Grabbing the same fluffy brush, I'm going to blend out the edges one more time. Now I'm going to take some of this gold and I'm going to put it in the center of my lids. Okay, so now we're done with the eyeshadow. I'm going to move on to eyeliner and I'm going to use the Hair on Make Smooth Liquid Liner. What I usually do is I make a small line closest to my lash line and then I wing it out towards my ears. Now that I've got my eyeliner matching as best as I could, I'm going to line the inner rims of my eyes using this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in brown, I believe. Okay, and the last thing for my eyes is I'm going to put on some mascara. This is the CoverGirl The Super Sizer Waterproof Mascara, and I'm just going to put a light coat on both of my top lashes. I usually don't curl my lashes beforehand just because I don't really care about my lashes really showing up. I just want to darken my eyes. Okay, that's everything for my eyes. Now we're going to move on to the face. Okay, so with the fluffy brush, I'm going to grab my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and just bronze up my face around the edges. I'm not really being too precise. We really just want to give my face a bit more definition. I'll go underneath my cheekbones, up to my temples. Now I'm going to grab my favorite blush from Milani. This is called Luminoso and it's their big blush. I'm going to grab one of my blush brushes from Zoeva and I'm just going to apply this generously all over my cheeks. Usually with blush, I tend to apply a bit more just because I find that blush is the first thing that comes off for me. So I like to just apply more and later on it'll be a bit more natural looking. Next, I'm going to apply my highlighter which is from Essence and it's the Pure Nude Highlighter. I usually put this highlighter on my cheekbones and a bit on my chin. Areas where I want to highlight but I definitely don't want it to be too noticeable just because I don't want to accentuate my texture. I find that this is a really, really great highlighter for anyone who has a lot of texture on their skin or just wants something a bit more natural for work or for school. Next, I'm going to use my highlighter from ColourPop in Smoke and Whistles in their Super Shock Cheek Collection. I like to use this formula on the bridge of my nose as well as my Cupid's bow just to really highlight my face and really bring out my face. I must let you know. As you can see, the highlighter that I applied on my nose and my cupid's bow is a lot stronger than the highlight that I applied on the rest of my face, but that just really helps my square face shape look more even and highlighted. So I'm pretty much done with my skin, so now I'm going to move on to my lipstick. <laughs> So I just applied the Rimmel Kate Moss Lipstick in 110. It's a nice red cherry color. And now I'm just going to blend it out with my fingers to make it look a bit more natural. Alright, so that's
that's everything for this look. I hope that you enjoyed my everyday summer makeup routine. I'm just gonna take my hair down right now, but yeah, thank you guys so very much for continuing to watch my content. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. I will definitely be making a lot more makeup tutorials and makeup routines, and I hope you're looking forward to it. Bye guys! See ya! Yeah, 눈빛을 보내 눈치를 주네 근데 못 알아듣네